And we are joined now by Ben Griffiths, captain on this USC team, punter extraordinaire on his second uh, sporting career already. Uh, interesting character, already turned 30. So we, we got lots we want to get in with you, but uh, I promised, uh, you know, Coach Dante that I would ask straight away uh, what what uh, what his message to you as a, as a captain of this team has been and, and, and how you guys are trying to lead in the locker room to go along and, you know, with what he's what he's doing with the coaches. Oh, sorry, um, he was very clear about the the expectations that he had for the playing group, and uh, our job as leaders is just to echo that and make sure that we really narrow our focus and um, really try and uh, improve some standards that may have slipped over the the past years. And um, as captains, yeah, we're trying to uh, embody that and and really teach the rest of the playing group about what we expect on a daily basis. Now, Ben, is that something that the coach, that, did he come to you guys as leaders or are you guys just kind of passing that message or is, is that the message to the whole team kind of thing? Um, like, I mean, we have like a, a core group of leaders. Um, I mean, we obviously have the four captains, but um, the leadership group kind of extends beyond that because the core playing group is, is by far the most important. Um, so I think it's been a message that's been passed along from leaders to the core um, and about teaching the young guys uh, the Trojan way, I guess, and the expectations. I'm going to flip the script. No uh, no football question for me. For those that don't know, Ben just turned 30 years old. My question is, after you get the win versus Colorado, I know I'm getting ahead of myself, you fly back here, 30 years old. Are you allowed to go to the 9-0? Is that allowed <laughs> as, the, as the punter? Because I know I'm 26, and I feel a little bit old. I'm curious, what's your style? Because you're, you're still a student, so it's still, still allowed, but uh, what, what's your take? I might have to use the student card to try and get me in. I there you go. Should... Show the student ID. I have to show my passport, too, so... Um... <laughs> Yeah, I don't want to risk losing that, but yeah, it's just up either way. so it's still allowed. Well, it's amazing that you become captain, Ben, right? Because yeah. that is voted on by your teammates, who are some version of eight to twelve years younger than you. And so, whether it's at the nine zero or wherever, how have you been able to form those bonds that those guys are? You know, maybe looking up to you makes sense, but but you know, also a guy that they want to lead them in the trenches in times like this. How have you been able to form those bonds with with younger people? I think uh, it kind of started in in winter, to be honest. And um, Coach Steiner and, and the new system allowed for the specialists to be more actively involved in uh, the daily training, um, whether that's winter conditioning and then moving to the summertime, especially. Um, so I, I guess I was fortunate to be able to be part of uh, the training more and I set myself to a very high standard with how hard I work um, and I, I guess that was just uh, reflective in being voted captain. Um, yeah, I wasn't trying to do anything extraordinary. I just was holding myself to the level that I expect and, um, and pass that on to the playing group. Ben, how, how's the punting been this year? How, how would you grade out yourself this year so far? We've seen some boomers out there this year. Obviously, you got maybe too many opportunities last week. What, what have you? How would you grade yourself so far? Uh, I've, I've been a little bit frustrated with how I've been kicking it. Uh, I've had a good couple, couple of good kicks every game, and then one that I haven't been overly happy with. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm working really hard to kind of try and have a perfect game. Um, probably knowing that I'm never going to be perfect, but if I get very close, I'm going to be good enough. So. Uh, for me, it's it's a daily thing, and, and I'm working really hard to be as consistent as I possibly can. But I know when I was here, I was a, a captain when I was the backup here, and that was obviously a little little weird, a little awkward when you're not playing. As a punter, you only have so many snaps. You're not necessarily in the front seven, in the dogfight with these guys. Not to say you're not playing. I know you're playing. But how do you manage that, and how do you navigate that role when, um, you know, your role is just a little bit different than maybe a traditional captain uh, at SC has been? Yeah, that's a great question. Um, it's probably one of my biggest struggles, to be honest, because I have limited op opportunities to, to play my role for the team. So um, I guess I really value my time during the week when it comes to lifts and, and standard on the field at practice um, and holding other guys to the level that not only I expect, but the coaches and the rest of the playing group expects. Um, so, yeah, I guess my energy as well. You'll see me pacing up and down the sidelines. I'm trying to just like rally the troops. I try and stay actively involved as much as I can, um, knowing that if I only have three kicks, then that's really all I can do on the field. But how can I affect the team off the field? Um, and I think that's where my, my value is uh, is kind of 
And it's, it's got to be weird, too, because if you're, if you're not on the field, that's usually a, a good sign, you know, if we're, we're it, uh, staying on the field. If they're, uh, unfortunately, Oregon State the, punter wasn't on the field till the very end of the game, so but yeah. he was happy. I'm sure he was thrilled with that. You know, I don't know a ton. Uh, we're listening to, to Ben Griffiths here. You could tell by the Australian accent that that's what it has to be on the USC football team, your punter and captain, and already had a career in, in, in Australian rules football. I don't know a ton about uh, uh, Australian rules football, but I assume that there aren't specialists like there are in in, the, in in American football, right? There's no, like, somebody to bring on just for kicks. Yeah, that's right. Basically, uh, if you're a forward, you still have to defend. Right. So the gameplay is much like soccer where it's very continuous. Right, or rugby. Yeah, right? if the other team has the ball, you're still on the field and you're trying to get it back. So. So, so my question then is how have you adapted to sort of the pressure, right? That's always the thing in American football is for kickers and punters is it's like – you get out there, you sit around, you sit around. I, you know, I watch the kickers just kicking in the nets and the sidelines. You know, you're trying to sort of stay in the game because when you do get out there, it's hugely important, but you're never in a flow of the game like you were in your previous career. Yeah, it, it's definitely a challenge, and I guess that's where I I really have to value my preparation and, and during the week and the quality of training that I do during the week is very important um, because at the end of the day, when I'm out on the field, yeah, I only have three opportunities and I might be only out there for two seconds. So I have to yeah. make a count. So I need to be able to rely on my training and, and the mental reps um, that I can get on the sideline just to stay focused and, and, and kind of track the game. That's why I kind of pace up and down, follow the game. So I, while I'm not on the field, I'm still actively involved in it. Um, and I think that helps me just with situations and um, depending on what kind of kick I need to kick, uh, I can think about it more. But yeah, definitely the preparation side during the week is critically important, I think, and um, just being able to go out there with confidence and, and trust your training. Just real quick from me, uh, how hard are you out there, Politic and Sean Snyder, to get a – so you can use the, the Australian rules back on maybe a fake punt or something. Can, I don't know. You, you can't give away any game plan yeah. or anything now. How about a little Politic? Come on, coaches. Let me, let me work my game plan here. Yeah, I think if I, if I was three or four years younger, I might have a bit more, <laughs> <laughs> a bit more behind me. But uh, – yeah, it doesn't help that I just turned 30, so um, <laughs> they know how's that the, I'm not. How's the yeah, arm? That isn't on the D-line. Yeah. Oh, man, come on. Were, were you guys, <laughs> were you guys I mean, it, you know, you don't want it. Were you, were you a little bit proud of Parker Lewis for being a kicker, getting ejected from a game for a monster hit? I mean, you know. Oh, I mean. It's yeah. not, not what you want in terms of the rules, but, you know. It, but it's what you was want in terms of the street cred. He was out there to lay one down. Yeah, I think he was a little bit too happy with the street cred. <laughs> <laughs> he's feeling himself now. Yeah, oh, I think yeah. he's feeling himself. Yeah, so you had to you had to take him down a notch. Be yeah. like, eh, that's what we do. We constantly are. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's uh, it's back to back Aussies coming up here. It's, as Ben mentioned, we got we got Nick Porter, a guy you know from the. You ever play water polo? I have not. No. All right. Well, maybe that's your third career. You need a third sport. A sp third sport that's coming up. We'll see if uh, Nick Porter thinks you can handle it. That's Ben Griffiths, so. Uh, Happy 30th birthday to him. Hopefully we won't see too much of you out on the field on Saturday. But it's thin air. So punt in thin air. I think you're going to like that. Dry conditions. Punter's paradise there in Boulder. Nick Porter, our Aussie goalkeeper, is coming up for the uh, USC men's water polo team. That's next on Trojans Live.